Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I have my Graphic 45 Design Team haul. So we got to pick out um, some things to just replenish our stash and I haven't tried this from Graphic 45. I um, usually buy my chipboard from Amazon. So I thought, hey, let's try out what they've got. This is a medium weight, 30 point, uh, 12 by 12 chipboard, and you get 10 in here. So excuse the, the glare there, but this is great for um, album covers and anywhere where you might want a little bit of extra kind of uh, thickness and um, structure. Then I've got a couple of the latest collections. So I have the latest deluxe collectors edition. This one's called Mon Amour. Great for Valentine's Day coming up. And so if you're not familiar with deluxe collectors editions, um, and I think they're renaming it to just Collector's Edition now, but the premise behind them is that it's a previous release that they are bringing back and in a slightly different format. So sometimes they might, if it's really old, they might touch up the colors a little bit just to have it a little bit more um, kind of modernized. And if um, usually when they release a new paper collection, they've got their... 12 by 12 papers, 8 by 8 papers, and then they have the patterns and solids. But when they come back as a collector's edition, they don't have the patterns and solids. It's kind of incorporated into the um, DCE, and you you end up getting more um, sheets, I believe, than, um, and it's kind of a different, different combination. So here, for example, you're going to get three sheets of eight different um, 12 by 12 pattern papers and that's the same in the 12 by 12 and the 8 by 8 and they are the exact same patterns it's just scaled down so it's not as though if this is your 12 by 12 it's not like they just take an 8 by 8 section of it they actually scale everything down so the print is going to look a little bit smaller so what I'll do is, because the 8x8 is a little bit easier to show on camera, I'll go ahead and flip through. Look at that. Um, so these are really nice. If you're a card maker, you can trim these out and get your sentiments from this. And there's three sheets. Uh, front and back, they are the same. This is really lovely. Just a really nice floral pattern. Look at that. And this is You Are Loved. Mon amour, je t'aime, uh, forever and always, love changes everything, love that. You know, if you like to make scenes, a lot of these um, look like they would be good kind of uh, wallpaper <laughs> prints. <laughs> That's the first thing I think of. Um, so we have this again. These are really nice to just um, use as cut aparts if you want. They can be little journaling cards for your mini albums. They could be your um, kind of uh, sentiments on a card. You can turn them into tags if you want. So really, really lovely. This is another one that would be a really good wallpaper pattern. Another really nice print. So you can see some of these prints are similar. You know, I, I'm not familiar with this collection, so I don't know how it looked when it first came out, but you know, a lot of these are similar to what um, you might see as a patterns and solids, kind of like this one, where it's got a print to it, but you know, it's it's more or less um, solid. And so look at how lovely that is. Lots of different couples. And I really love the typography on this one. Oh, that's another beautiful one. Lovely. And here's one that's great for little border strips. Again, perfect for um, getting some cut aparts from here, but you can you can make a border strip out of even this wide one. It's almost like it's almost like a film strip. Um, 
So that's really lovely. There's another beautiful print, another floral. Oh, look at this. So love that there's different scale, right? So you've got your other a uh, little bit larger print and then your smaller smaller prints here because then you can when you're at least for me when I'm picking papers and if I'm using multiples on a single project um, even if they're all florals I do like to see something that's a little bit different in here for example they you could probably use these on the same project um, because they're different enough to where your eyes can really distinguish between the two and it doesn't just start to blend one into the other because this one has larger florals and that has smaller florals. This has a background that's predominantly dark. This has a background that's predominantly light. So there's enough contrast and um, variation between the two to where it's not like it all just starts to... Um, fade one into the other because they're just too similar. So that's really, really well designed. And look at that. Gorgeous. Um, so you could, if you didn't want to use this as is, you could fussy cut some of these images out. So really, really pretty. So that is the collector's edition um, Monomore. My love, I believe, is what that translates to in French. Could be wrong on that. Um, then we have the latest um, collection. So this collection is Flower Market and I do have um, the 12 by 12, the 12 by 12 patterns and solids, and I have the 8 by 8. So I'll flip through the 8 by 8, but um, if you're not familiar with patterns and solids, um, the way that Graphic 45 does them is in the um, patterns, you're going to get two different patterns in each of these four colorways. So they look, you know, pretty much the same color, but there's actually two different patterns here. So in total, eight different patterns. But in each of the four colorways, the back of that is what they call solids, but these solids aren't um a hundred percent solid like solid color cardstock they actually have a little bit of a very very subtle pattern to them and i love that i love that because it's it's still got some texture still got some interest but is can be used as a solid and so that is um kind of makes the whole thing worth it because I feel like, you know, I could probably try to find solid color cardstock that's close enough, but these aren't just strictly solid. They actually have a little bit of texture to them. It's subtle and it's monochromatic, but it's there and that helps to create some interest. So let me flip through the, um, the patterns. So in the 12 by 12, you're going to get two sheets of, um, 12 by 12 double sided paper in the patterns and solids you're going to get 16 sheets so you'll get two of each of these designs and then in the 8 by 8 you're going to get two sheets of each design so let's start to flip through so you're going to get two sheets so that lets you if you love both the front and the back you you can use both. You don't necessarily have to choose because you're going to get two sheets that are identical. And what's fantastic is usually um, the way that Graphic 45 designs their papers is if you take this, for example, um, you can cut these out. You can use this as is. And if you're looking for something to coordinate, um, you just flip to the back and this is what you have. And you're going to get a lot of that same imagery. So often the um you know one of the easiest matches if you're trying to find something that coordinates with um the particular site or pattern that you're using just flip to the back because usually that's a really good starting point for um finding a paper that coordinates really well so here's another print again this one's called flower market so um you're gonna see a lot of different flowers a lot of different um um Oh, look at this. Hold on. So let's see. This was Poinsettia in December. Oh, are we going to get all the months? That would be fantastic. 
So this is amazing. So chrysanthemum November. Um, interesting. You get little tags. Look how well all of that coordinates. Um, okay, this is pretty cool. I'm excited. So then this should be October Cosmo. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm really excited about that. This, I feel like I want to make a, um, since it already has the months, it would be interesting to maybe make a, um, I've done this before, so I would have to see who, who doesn't already have one, but one thing that I like to make with, um, anything that has the months built in is a, like a birthday, um, kind of reminder notebook so that you can um, jot down everybody's birthday that you know in that month. And um, I've done it, I think, as an accordion style mini album, just like one of those really easy ones to put together. And it's it's kind of fun because then you have something that is practical that somebody can use, but then it's beautiful. And with this, since it's already themed like the flowers of the month, um, there's even a little calendar here, so I think that's going to be really fun. Here's September. This is Aster. Let's see. August is Poppy. And it's interesting because it tells you, I guess, what the flower means um, or an interpretation of the flower. So Poppy is imagination. Nothing happens unless we first dream. July is Larkspur, hmm. which is laughter. Earth laughs in flowers. Love that quote. I've heard that before and I love it. June is Rose and, um, this is love. Um, that love is all there is, is all we know of love. Oh, beautiful. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, May is Lily. Humil humility. Humility is the solid foundation of all virtues. And then you get like, you know, different representations of it, of the month too. Because you have this little, you can use a circle die to maybe cut that out. And then you have like the postage stamp style, so very cool. April's daisy, which is cheerful. Spring has sprung when you can put your feet on three daisies. Lovely. So pretty. Ooh, is this daffodil? Yep, March is daffodil. New beginnings. Bloom, a beautiful process of becoming. Gorgeous. Um, is this a pansy? Oh, violet. Faithful. Be faithful in small things because it is in them that your strength lies. Look how gorgeous. Love all the different colors, too. Um, so that was Feb. This is January. Carnation. Fascination. What was paradise but a garden? Oh, what a lovely way to start the year. Oh, you know, another cool project it might be something like a perpetual calendar so you have the flowers to look at i'm i'm loving this i i really cannot wait to to craft with this and it's it's great to have it in um this is how i feel about all uh graphic 45 collections because i love having both the 12 by 12 and the 8 by 8 and i know if you've seen my um haul videos i've said it before um so sorry if you've heard it before and this is so repetitive for you but the reason why i like the two is because they are scaled differently so just depending on the project that you're making you might need one scale over another and so i love that and then check this out so I, I love that Graphic 45 is now doing stamps and, and ink and stuff like that. And so it seems now with every collection that it comes out, there's also a stamp set that coordinates with it. And you, you'll find a lot of the same um, uh, imagery like this here, the flower market uh, tag here. You have that 
as a stamp as well so that you can um you know if you want to just take up a, a bit of this design and maybe replicate it as a different element you can do that with the stamps so there's some florals there are some um a butterfly this sort of um kind of like a seal stamp and then some sentiments and then you get the numbers um one or zero through nine and so you could you could put those numbers in here for representing um like if you wanted to represent the the months you could put the the number there on the pattern paper it does actually say january on there but I guess they didn't really have the room for to fit all of the <laughs> months, so they gave us the numbers instead, and then you can use that kind of however you like. And so it's really lovely to have this, um, and I always try to get it with with each uh, collection of papers because you can then sort of really stretch everything a little bit, and if you want to replicate this, you you can and you can do it in a different color because then you can just stamp it in whatever color that you like and then i also got for um um the flower market i got the ephemera pack with it but there's other stuff that you can get um like the chipboard elements and the stickers and stuff like that i i didn't get everything um there's also the journaling card so all the standard stuff that you would see in a full collection you can get but I, I wanted to kind of limit myself to, um, to just these because this is sort of the core that I love to have with each collection because I know I'm going to use all of that. <laughs> and the other thing that I really love doing with the stamps, um, you may have seen me do it before, is I, I, I don't have a lot of wrapping paper and, and stuff like that. And what I normally do when I'm uh, packaging a gift to give away is I'll just wrap it in tissue paper. But to dress up that tissue paper just like a little bit so that it doesn't seem like I'm being so, so lazy, um, even though I am, I, <laughs> I like the stamps for that. So you can take a either a watermark stamp like Versamark or you can take a um, just a darker shade of whatever color tissue paper and just do some tone on tone stamping and just use you know just stamp all you know a couple of these images in a random pattern all over your tissue paper and then your tissue paper then looks fancy <laughs> but not only does it look fancy it also coordinates with the project if you're if you're using that um um the one the stamp set that goes with that collection and then speaking of stamp sets, so I picked up, I think these are the last two that I don't already have. So um, besides the ones that are collection specific. So these are fantastic because um, they are really nice size background stamps. And so on here we have some florals. So this is vines and, and greenery. And then this is a little bit more delicate. Um, and so there's some good contrast there. Great for art journaling, great for card making. You could use this too to, to stamp onto your tissue paper and make some custom um, patterned tissue paper. This I love. It's sort of um, got a lot of just marks and script and, you know, a grid and lots of um, great... Um, you know kind of marks really and and so it's really nice for to build your background stamp out your background and then here's a really nice sort of argyle kind of reminds me of a sweater so so really lovely these great size as well and so um they'll work pretty well with cards some of them are bigger than others so for example this isn't quite as um tall or wide depending on how you look at it but you can always um kind of repeat stamp it and especially if you're building up a background um you may not be going for like a perfect perfect impression so so that is um the different paper collections that i got and the different stamp sets that I got. Then moving into some of the um, pre-made albums and things. So 
I did get another one of these um, little ATC tag and pocket albums. And the reason is because the first one that I got is um, this one right here. So this one's in a cream color. And as you can see, I haven't, I haven't decorated it yet. But I, black at the time was not in stock when I chose this one. And I like to have both because, so if you see, actually these two paper pads are a fantastic example because um, take for instance, if I wanted to use uh, the collector's edition Mon Amour, a lot of these papers do have black in them and darker colors in them and so they do have cream too so it just depends on which way you want to take it um what works better as a album base but so this one I feel like Mon Amour can go both ways you could use a cream base or the black base but when you're looking at um flower market I think overall these tend to be a little bit brighter and so these I feel like there's some that have some dark areas like where those butterflies are but by and large I think they they would look a little bit better on a lighter page base so that's why I kind of wanted both because I I don't know exactly um, I knew I wanted to get both of these paper um, collections, but I wasn't sure what album I wanted to use them for. And for the same reason, I picked up another one of the Trifold Waterfall albums, again, in this time in the cream because they didn't have it at the time that I picked up the black. <laughs> so that's kind of the reverse. So now in both the Trifold Waterfall Folio album and the ATC Tag and Pocket album, I have both the white version and, or I should say like the cream version or ivory, and as well the um, version that's in black. And then I picked up another um, Craft uh, Travelers album. So these have the three notebooks inside. I really love these. They make for really, really good um, gifts. So the one that I um, got before I covered with Let It Be, and I was thinking I would um, cover or decorate uh, this one with the flower market. Um, so we'll see um, which, which one, which collection I actually end up using. And the thing that I have not tried from Graphic 45 ever is their storage boxes. So I got this one. It's circular. There are two boxes. So nested inside the one box will be a smaller box inside. Um, and so kind of interesting to... Um, to play with this I think so I think this will be um, a project that maybe I'll do uh, sooner rather than later because I'm just really curious to try it to, to see it and it'll be interesting to decorate something that's a circle so I'll bring out my probably my nested cir circle um, dies so that I can kind of die cut mats and layers and then the sides will be easy because that you can just cut um, rectangular strips and um, have them run along the edges so kind of fun to to try that out then last couple of things so speaking of storage I got three sets of these and I hmm, it's been a little while now, I think, but I got a, um, it was an MDF um, storage that's got all of the panels pre-cut, but everything comes unassembled and you have to, um, you know, put everything together and that includes drawers. So it's this really nice sort of um, um, storage unit. And so one of the things I was thinking of for altering that is the drawers have little thumb notches so you can just kind of poke a hole, poke your finger into it and, and pull it out that way. But one of the things I'm curious to do is instead of 
um, using the little the little thumb notch, attaching some handles to them. And these are metal handles. They have brads. Um, so all I need to do is just we'll see how easy or hard it is to to punch or poke a hole through MDF and um, get the bat brad through there. But I figured this is going to be a little, it'll make those drawers look a little bit um, neater, I think. And I think just more usable too, just easier to have something to grab onto and, and pull it out. And so that unit has, I think, six um, drawers, but I think there were, there's like two different sizes. So I just wanted to make sure I had enough um, handles. That's why I got so many sets. And then I wanted to try these out. So these are pearl gems. I do make a lot of cards. And so I thought it would be interesting to to give these a shot. They do have, they they are matte. So it's kind of, it's it's really neat. They don't have that super glossy finish. And in particular, the black, I think it looks really nice. Um, so that's really cool. And they come in different sizes. They're different colors as well. So you have your silver, gold, and you have black. All in a matte finish and three different sizes. Now, the largest might be larger than what I would put onto a card because it's so, it's so dimensional it's going to definitely trigger extra postage and in fact you know if you put this onto a relatively flat card it actually might poke through your envelope because of that um that difference in depth so i may not use something like that for um for these uh larger ones i may not use for card making but um they might look cool if you want it to like cover the little brads here, they might look cool as little finishing um, on the handles. But I think there's a lot of different ways to use that. And it was interesting, I hadn't ever seen it. I don't know if it's um, relatively new to the Graphic 45 shop, but I I hadn't noticed it in there before. So when I saw it, I thought that um, it would be cool to pick up, especially because they are matte. And I, I normally, with uh, most of my gems and pearls and whatnot, they're usually glossy or they are um, kind of translucent. And so I thought this would be really fun and something different to add to my stash. So that is my um, Graphic 45 um, design team haul. And so when I craft with any Graphic 45 products, you'll see those videos in my graphic 45 playlist so while i may not come back and link directly to a specific video featuring these products at the end of this video you'll find my graphic 45 playlist and so you can always go to that playlist in order to um, check out all of the projects where i feature graphic 45 products Thanks again, and until next time, happy crafting, and have a fantastic day. Bye!